There are three components to a template, themes, slide masters, and content. Themes govern the design or look of your document, backgrounds, colors, fonts. Slide masters determine how those colors and fonts are applied and what layout of text placeholders are available. Now while your slide masters may contain some content like logos or picture backgrounds, preset slides for legal language, company information, etc., that's what we would call content. Beginning with a blank presentation, with our company logo inserted here as a picture, I can get an idea of our color scheme and fonts. The company colors then are blues and greens. The logo uses Tahoma and brush script fonts, I'll probably just use Tahoma. If you're unsure of the fonts or colors used in your company logo, speak to the person who designed it or bring it to a graphics expert. Let's find a design theme that's close to this branding. We'll look in the design gallery on the design tab. The colors are used most boldly in the out of the box themes on the title slide. By default, that is the layout for our first slide. If you find a design that's otherwise perfect but has the wrong colors, you can adjust these here in Theme Colors. Save your custom color set by choosing Create New Theme Colors and naming it. Sometimes the folks who designed your logo have a complete color palette for you. If so, you can just create custom colors to match. Ask them for the RGB or red, green, blue numbers. These can be set here under More Colors and Custom. We'll also choose a font set that's close to what we want. We can tweak it later in the Slide Master. All themes come with a default set of slide layouts. You can view all of these here as thumbnails just by right-clicking your slide and hovering over Layouts. To change their appearance or to add new ones, we have to go into the Slide Master. This is done here on the View tab in the Master Views group. We'll click Slide Master. Now all our layouts appear here on the left. The easiest way to keep users from messing up existing layouts is by giving them the variations they need. Let's say we know we're going to need a three content layout similar to this two content one. We can simply duplicate the two content layout and make our changes. Here, too, we can make changes to the master slide that will be inherited by almost all the layouts. So we'll change the font type for our slide titles to Tahoma. Be sure you're working at the topmost slide. It will appear slightly outdented to the rest. The top one is really what's called the slide master. The rest are referred to as layouts. I'll change the font sizes of the first and second bullet levels here, too. I like 32 or 36 for the first bullet and 28 or 30 for the second one. Makes it more visible. I'll add the logo to the slide master and layout so I don't have to keep inserting them when I create my presentation. You can have multiple slide masters in one template. For example, to allow for a light background and dark background variation, or for printing. You can duplicate the one you created and make changes to it, as I've done here. Now we'll save our custom theme as Feel Smart so we can use it again. Any subsequent changes we make after that to the theme, we need to choose Save Current Theme again and save over the theme that we created. After closing the Slide Master, we can create any content or slides we'd like to be used by default in our presentation. We can get rid of our inserted logo here because the Slide Master will now determine its placement. Now with all our standard slides created, we can save it as a template. That's File, Save As. PowerPoint template. And then we'll close everything down here. Now when we create a new presentation, we can use our template right from the beginning. 
with File, New, My Templates, and we'll choose the one we just created. As you can see, all of our content is there and both our slide masters are available with all of their layouts. It may require a bit of effort out front, but it will be a lot less work later 